Hey folks, um, Nick here. What is it today? 2-8 afternoon doing homework. It's been a while since I released a public video. Pretty busy with the membership program. They get videos every day. Okay, so talking about GME today. What? Yes, the Super Spike Champion of 2021. That's what I'm going to call it. Not the original Super Spike Champion. That would be Tilray. Look it up. Okay, so... You're not going to believe what I'm going to say. I, whatever I discuss here has nothing to do with fundamentals. Uh, I, <laughs> so the fundamentals are pretty funny for this one. They're pretty confusing. So if you look up the PNL, which is the black and white uh, judgment, right? How are you doing the business? How is the business doing? This is not an opinion. It's fact. So we go from nine billion to eight and change. 2018, 2019, six and change. Oof, quite a big drop. Pre-COVID, COVID hits down 20 percent give them a pass recovered 15 percent they're still down to this by about 10 percent down to this by about air math 25 mm, percent something like that so down still not great better than 2020 so there's no how about this no good story from from the pnl i don't know what's behind the scenes statistically it's not expensive price to sales 1.2 so there's not much hope in the price however you look it up on yahoo finance it's hilarious you look up the experts that cover it. Um, most of them are on hold. They, they say hold. But nobody has the balls to say sell. <laughs> Even though the price it is right now is three times the price average. And I think only three or four of them have a price a price target. So the price target average is like 55 bucks. Um, and, and it's, I mean, not three times, twice. Um, the low was like in the 20s. I don't know who said $20 or $23 price target. So what does this all say? Just throw all the fundamentals in the toilet. I don't care. The opportunity is pretty big here. I hate chasing a stock up 13%, but God help you is going to short it. It's not to be shorted. Uh, this thing can go to 160 and 180. Um, so let me update this chart. I haven't touched it in a long while. So let's see what we got right and what we got wrong. And let's make a fun game out of it. What did Nick get right? Oh, wrong. Uh, this did not materialize. That's what, Half of it did, and then they gave up the ghost. Uh, trading opportunity. I put a line here, so they never triggered it. So that was good. Now guess what? I get to move it this way, and look how... Wow. So wait. So this was back here. And then this one day, whatever happened on January 7th, what the hell? Uh, it opened here, big giant, what, what? Was there a headline? Holy cow, giant gap from the close. Come on, trading view, what the f This is the kind of day I'm having technically. 23% uh, gap up open and then close way back down. Hmm, and then fall 40%. So that was the line that we were looking for to break out. So there are no coincidences. If you don't believe in charts, this right here, that alone should be proof to you that, hey, maybe I should pay attention to what happens to the, to the charts. And if you look back, look at how pivotal that line is. So it does matter. So what am I going to do here? Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to call this resistance. What? Yeah, that's pretty straightforward. And then here I said a B, B, big fight coming. Careful. That was my note. I said... Potential upside, potential downside, guess what? They both came true. Look, upside and downside. So we will move that forward and put another, move it a little bit lower now that we have more information. Guess what we're going to call this? Resistance. What? Putting all these resistance lines. Okay, I don't need this circle anymore. Check this out. Look at this path. That was spot on. I'll leave it because I'm enjoying it. We'll leave it for visual representation of correctness. Move this one this way. Guess what? We're going to need a couple more of these, maybe one. This orange line uh, denotes a high volume spot. Not of an opinion, <laughs> fact on the chart. This area, very busy. So if ever it comes back to here, don't get long here. Similar area, high volume spot right here. So. The, the 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 rally back is not going to be easy but it's totally doable what's the first line that's important i'll give you a second before i get there 
Is this level? Yes. This one. Easy to see why, right? What is that? 115? What is the high here? 119. Oh, gosh, eyes dead. 117 and a half and 116 and a half. So we'll call it 119. Is it 119? Yeah, close enough. That, folks, is the next trigger. So I will say breakout opportunity. Make it a little bit smaller so not to be totally enthusiastic. <clears throat> How high is it? Uh, about as high as this. So 117 to, so about 17 bucks. Tw 13 to in 18, 19 dollars. So from here, 13, come on. Somewhere around here. So it will get us to here. Look at that, to this line, almost exactly. Wow, that's pretty cool. Okay, so what is the path gonna look like? Once they break out, I don't know when they do it. Maybe they dip. I call this buy the dip or buy the rip. So BDBR. So maybe they dip once, they come back to the same, and then they take off, choke, finish the job. That's one scenario. Buy the dip from here. Or just buy the rip. And, and if it does rip right away, it doesn't dip, it just takes it out. Um, I would give it, I'm gonna eyeball it this much. So it's either buy the rip. I stopped here, not, not by coincidence. I'm afraid of this candle. Clearly, it's a freaking wall. And I think it's right here. So I think this really should be here. Maybe I'll do that. I don't want to, I'll put it a different color. How about that? I'll put it right here. Um, some sort of, I'll, I'll name it Pivot. Something happened here. I'm not sure what. I'm gonna put it right there. So, any which way you slice it, the bears are on their heels. Why? For the last, okay, so the market's bottomed on 124. Remember, that was a pretty fucking scary day um, in the market in general. So this drop here was not anything particular to GME. So they're writing a wrong right here. The whole market fell hard. So now what do we have? We have behavior. This is not a trend line, behavior. Uh, the bulls, the buyers establishing control. Why is that important? Then the dips will be bought. So the dips will be bought. The dips will be bought. The dips will be bought. Boom. Breakout. So this is not, I'm not trying to connect dots. This would be wrong. It's just maintain higher low. That's it. Maintain control. So you thought I was going to trash the company, right? No, I don't give a crap. Um, look at this. <laughs> Clearly this, this is uh, not an opportunity. It's just resistance. Um, this is a do not touch. Uh, if, if for whacked out reasons, they take that out, it's gone, but gosh, dang it. You know, I'm embarrassed to put it up here. Anyway, don't short it. If you don't want to get long, don't short it. This thing has technical potential upside. That's the message here today. How would I trade it? That's for the members only. And you know, this is a violent stock. It's not forgiving. You remember what it did? Uh, one week. Look, I mean, that people who shorted it, people who were unlucky to be short the first time, not knowing what the hell it was, um, you know, went out of business. They they literally filed for bankruptcy. Check this out. Look at this orange line. This is a weekly chart. Five years. Automatically defaults to five years. Look at all the price action. $13. That's the heaviest point of volume. So all this junk here doesn't amount to anything because it's still down here for the last five years. Let's start zooming in and see when it jumps because this is this this is trading view and it adjusts live. So if I move it, it adjusts the volume. Look, the volume profile here, that's a volume bar. This bar shows all these volumes. This is the busiest one by a freaking mile. Look at that. So let's see when it falls off. At some point it falls off. I'm zooming in. Come on, soon. Okay, see how it's moving up now? We're up to 45 bucks, we were what, 13? 
Now we're at 45, still at 45. Boom. <laughs> so what month? If we got rid of uh, January 2021, donk. <laughs> now we're up at 173. That's not good news. That's not good news because that means now you have a wall above you. That's a wall. That's literally breaks. And I zoom in. Okay. So you get the idea? Volume profile is important. It tells me where the money is. This is not an opinion. If you don't want an opinion, that's the only fact on the chart. Prior trades. This tells me that right here is a busy spot. So if I get to this place, I should get out. I'm telling you, you could. And I'm telling you, you shouldn't short it. And I'm telling you, once you get there, you should get the fudge out. <laughs> so anything above 140 is bookable in my book. Um, but it, it would make for a nice run. I haven't looked at the options prices. So I can imagine implied volatility is high. So single leg options are high. Uh, so if you can stomach it, that's probably the most leveraged way you can win. Or a debit call spread. Or maybe a credit put spread if you're crazy enough to buy a debit call spread. That's the least amount of money out of pocket. If you want to own shares, uh, selling a put spread and buying a call, that is the most aggressive, cheapest way, biggest bang for the buck. But that is lunacy. Um, you know, I don't have that much guts for this particular company. Okay, from A to Z. If you like this discussion, hit it a like. If you hate it, push on the hate button. I don't know if they have one. They need one. Um, post discussions, that's fine. Just keep it clean. I would love to hear what you think. And if you're a member, thanks. See you in the live chat room. Live room where we share charts. These charts, all day. We freaking nailed it today. The setup was insane at the end.